This is a video on how to connect your robot to your computer. That is your TurtleBot 2 robot to your computer. Here I'm running the virtual machine with ROS Kinetic on. And the point is, how do we connect the robot to the computer? The robot has a USB plug down here and you put a wire into it with a USB B and you put the USB A into your computer like so. So the first thing that happens is that my computer is uh, is taking over. So 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 the Windows computer is taking over the uh, the USB. But we'll fix that by uh, attaching it to the virtual machine. As you can see in the corner down here, there's some things you can click on. And I click the future devices, I click on Kubuki. <laughs> that, is the, uh, that is the robot. Then I cl click connect. And now it's connected to the virtual machine. The first thing you need to do when you've connected the robot is to turn it on. It's right here at the button. You can see that the light comes on down there. What, the what we do next is that we run the ROS launch uh, script for the minimal bring up. So, ROS launch turtle bot bring up. So, in turtle bot bring up, there's a couple of scripts. Um, the minimal is very useful because it, it turns on uh, the bare minimum to run this robot. And the 3D sensor is important if you want to use the, well, 3D sensor. So minimum launch. And you'll hear the robot make a sound once it's ready. There it is. It's a happy sound and we're happy the robot is on. The next thing you can do is that you can open up another terminal. And uh, we can run the tailout node that we ran with the, uh, with the simulation part, right? Ross launch turtle but tila up keyboard there we are so now we can move the robot around by pressing the keys this is all very nice um, we can also visualize our robot in Arvis. So I'll control C to this one, Arvis. And this is the standard setup. You can save your own config if you want to. But first of all, we'll go and look at the odometry frame because we don't have a map yet. Uh, then we'll add a robot model. And you can see now we have the robot model sitting down here. If I start moving it, I'm just pushing it with my hands, that's okay. Then you can actually see that it's representing the motions that it's, it's thinking that I'm doing to it. If I, if I lift it up and I move it over, nothing happens because it's actually using the wheels. But there's actually a uh, gy gyroscope inside of it, so it does actually f find out that it's been turned. Okay, so the next thing, we want to do is that we want to make it autonomous. So we'll open up a new terminal and we'll call ROS launch turtle bot um, navigation. And you can see there's a couple of different possibilities. We'll use the G-mapping demo. G-mapping. It all works, so we'll go back to Arvis, and in Arvis, we will uh, add a map. We can go by topic, and you can see all the topics that you can visualize. We'll go for the map. Okay, and then we'll change our fixed frame to map, and the map should turn. Uh, well, it's still yellow. We'll also visualize. The, uh, the, la the laser scan, if there was one. 
No. Of course, I forgot to tell you about this. The, the robot has a light, uh, depth scanner here, a depth camera, and that is being used in order to autonomously move and gauge the, the distances to, to the walls. Uh, you need to connect this, so you bring out the USB wire for that one and connect it. Oh, to a USB plug. There we are, and we'll connect it to this virtual machine. All right. So possibly that didn't go well. We'll try again. Oh, it it just reconnected. Very nice. Now, if we go to Arvis, we can see that we have a map, but we can also add a laser scan. There we go. So now you can see the laser scan is picking up my walls and the door. And as I'm moving, you can see how it picks up things. You can zoom out and in. And as we're moving around, the map is being built to become more and more detailed. What you can do then is that you can click the navigation goal and say I want you to go there and point in some specific direction. And the robot will do this autonomously. I can bring it back again. And probably it'll build more of the map. This is all there is to it.